sewage is a natural part of a river flow. I mean, the water will have to go somewhere and that's, that's what happens. I mean, the, the solution, uh, apart from the public demanding it, is about um, regulating those discharges. So making sure that where um, a, a license has been given to discharge, that they're actually meeting that regulation because that is the, the level of uh, organic or nutrient uh, loading that has been deemed acceptable to enter that river. And also to prevent discharges of untreated sewage into our rivers. Um, which again is needed at extreme events because the water has to go somewhere. But there are ways technology wise to, to treat more of that water, to store more of the water and as I said also prevent it even entering the system through better urban drainage, better storage, better land management for example. But that all takes money and people are going to have to work and work out on their priorities of where they want to fund it and what kind of rivers they want to see going on in future. Um, but I think we're, we're at, at a cusp, we're at a place where the public is starting to understand. There's a lot of um, very keen environmentalists and public speakers who have really raised the, the issue. Um, and I think people are starting to get it and they're, they're demanding a better standard. And that will ultimately come if they continue to demand it.